Let's paint some of my terrain of shame. Uh, this one, this would be an easy one. Hot off the printer, a year ago. Then you need a high-tech painting structure like this in a well-ventilated area and blast. And done. So I don't have any gray, so I take a little black, I take a little white, and we'll mix them together. So I'm gonna mix them together to get a real dark gray for my first undercoat that I will dry brush. Too dark, need a little more white. Then I'm gonna take this old makeup brush and I'm gonna dry brush on it. Load it up and then wipe most of the paint off. You want next to nothing on there for this. And then you just go nuts with the dry brush. I mean, I put it everywhere. Gotta reload the old dry brush, make sure it's nice and dry. And then after our first layer of gray, it's gonna look like this. If you did the dry brushing right, you'll still be able to see kind of the black that has filled in the cracks that the dry brushing didn't go over. So this is the first layer of gray. Now I'm gonna do a lighter dry brush. Just add a little more white to my existing concoction. Load up my makeup brush again with this lighter gray. As soon as you get it to where almost nothing is coming off, bam, you just start going at it again. Just willy nilly. For that second pass with a lighter gray, you can kind of see that it's kind of starting to get a little bit of highlights. Then we're gonna do the same thing with plain white to get the very, very top highlights. This one, you want next to nothing on your brush for these whites, because um, you don't want to cover up the gray, you just give it a little kind of highlight on the raised areas of the model. And this one, I almost just kind of splotched around, just to add some highlight. This is kind of a flat model, so I want to add a bunch of uh, some interesting different colors to it. You don't have to worry about being super clean with any of this. It's an old stone structure, so, you know, just go, go crazy with it, make it cool, but you can add these small little white highlights and it makes it interesting to look at. So after you blast this thing with white, it kind of starts to look like this. You can see a little bit more of the details in there. And again, this is all super sloppy. This has taken me like, I don't know, maybe two minutes to do this whole thing. I see some opportunities for some brown in here. Maybe some of this rubble is, is a little bit of dirt. So we do the same thing, real quick dry brush with some brown on these spots. All right, so that's it for dry brushing the brown. It's very, very subtle, but you, you can make it out. I think, I think it looks pretty all right. So now I've got a couple doors that I'm going to paint brown and I've got some, uh, some of this bronzish color here that I'm going to use a much finer paintbrush. It's still a garbage brush. You don't need anything fancy for this. Uh, but I'm gonna do that with the fancy little windows and things like that, kind of add some minor details to it. Blast some brown on these doors. Yeah, all right, so we got some doors painted, got the window sills, and it's coming together. Okay, so now I got all the basic colors put on this thing here. Yeah, you can see, right? So now what I wanna do, I'm gonna make a wash, my own wash, and it's just a tiny, tiny bit of water, and I'm just gonna pour some black paint in it and make it a black wash. And stir it up. And when it's done, you should have this really inky substance. It should be really fluid, because you want it to just kind of drip and drag all over the place. So you get that all together, and you just uh, take a brush that you definitely don't care about. I should probably use a larger brush for this, but I don't have one on hand, so I'm just gonna use this little tiny one. But you just, you just load it up and just pour it on. I mean. Some people will dip these. The idea is just to get it everywhere. Uh, if it is liquid enough, it will drip into all the cracks and it'll dry really cool. So that's this. In retrospect, I probably should have got a different brush. And that's it. This is after the wash dries. So as you can see here, this thing is not gonna win any awards. It's not awesome, but it looks good on the table. And that's good enough for me. And if you stuck it out this whole time, these are the paints I use. These are just the cheapest paints that I could find. I think I even got these from the dollar store. But that's it. Throw this dude on the table and get to playing.